this uh, in today's video I will prepare lunch for my husband from beef or buffalo tenderloin it's hard to say in India what I get <laughs> but uh, we will speak about the topic like uh, 10 unpopular uh, truth about weight loss which as you can hear are unpopular but actually it's true and maybe uh, somebody just needs to hear them as a reminder maybe some of them we all know but uh, like sometimes we are forgetting and we are a little bit lost on our journey so I think it's uh, just good to mention them so we will not forget it so the first thing is uh, which nobody wants to hear but it's actually true your uh, smart watch are not telling the truth about uh, calories which you burned yeah uh, the smart watch are not simply telling the truth because uh, just from the heartbeat you can just guess how much calories you burned and uh, the numbers are not true so you doesn't need to be obsessed with numbers and trying to close to do closure of your rings on Apple Watch and also not to be so much obsessed by every calorie which you put out during your cardio exercise and everything because it's simply not true yeah and 10 years ago people didn't have smart watches they still did their workouts which they enjoyed and it was still working and they didn't need to post every one calorie somewhere and because of this reason I completely put them out on purpose because I don't want to be obsessed by burning calories and I am not cardio person which would run and run just to burn and I more enjoy my heavy lifting training and I am not focused on calories so this is really helpful and it's not empty words you can see you can find my first video and you can go through all the videos I never ever have smart watches even I have them here I simply don't wear it because I can get very easily obsessed and I don't think it's the right one for me and also the information which we are getting are not valid yeah so that's first one <laughs> oh my god I love the smell of the pepper <laughs> mm. it looks nice now I will take mustard and put a little bit on them Another unpopular tool, especially for people who want quick fix in their uh, bodies, is that high intensity interval trainings are uh, not good for beginners and for weight loss. It will, it's very hard to do these trainings they were meant and built for uh, sport people who want to move their training on another level and they are not absolutely good for beginners in the worst case you will get injured in better case you will not get injured but you will give up very soon because it's like torturing uh, you will think uh, your will is not so strong to do the sport and it will just go to the motivation and so don't do them <laughs> if you want to lose the weight don't use high interval intensity training as a tool 
it, it, it's really simply not good for you. So now I cut like onion. And because I am the terrible chef and I cannot cut the onion, I did it on the camera. <laughs> so you will not see how I am fighting and struggling with such a basic thing. Another simple truth, unpopular, but true one is that fat burners are just a waste of money. Yeah, they simply don't work. If they would work, now it's working. So the fat burner are a waste of money. If they would work, everybody in the world would be slim and we would not uh, need this kind of channels. They are overpriced. And uh, like when you will read the description on every fat burner there is written, yeah, it will work only with good nutrition and some workouts. The same, it will work with proper nutrition and some workout will work without fat burner. Really, no. Go buy some dress. Make yourself happy with new perfume, but not with fat burner. Uh, yeah, another simple truth. Which especially in India, because everybody are vegan or vegetarian, nobody eats meat, nobody eats eggs. One egg per day is for them like proper nutrition from the animals, for most of the people. Simply, you need to eat more protein. Yeah? And uh, there is no proper nice fat loss without protein intake so seriously eat more protein it's like first rule of every diet no matter which one if which one you will choose intermittent fasting low carb keto keto paleo counting macros whatever will you do increase your protein intake. That's very important. I will keep it like this. Uh, about recovery after a hard workout, uh, we can see that they are uh, everywhere. The social media are offering us massage, sauna, spa, Cryotherapy, these are all overrated uh, solution, which takes lots of time, money, and best solution and best recovery after workouts is proper sleep during night. Seven, eight hours of nice sleep in the night is the key to recover and to have more successful weight loss. The sleeping is very under a rating uh, thing in uh, weight loss, but very, 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 very uh, important. This is another <laughs> truth. This is like Czech specialty, I would say. Uh, this meat and uh, some people put in the uh, in the sauce a little bit of uh, flour to make it like a little bit thick and I do it with that I cook uh, properly two eggs which I then just grind into this watery uh, sauce and I don't use flour so yeah and I think the combo of the meat and eggs I think uh, it even tastes great I will turn the meat Another uh, point, half of the 
YouTube channels and Instagram channels and I am sorry to say it are bullshit. Unlucky ladies which has like 12 millions of views one video. Fat burner drink. How to make homemade fat burner drink. I was drinking with it all the time and I lost 7 kgs and stuff like that. If you put it into YouTube and you search these videos, they are very popular. Millions and millions of people are watching them and I just want to say nothing like drink which burns fat exists. The same. Food, we don't have any food which burns the fat. This simply don't exist. And the same, the pills, drinks, anything like that. And I can tell you that there is even no exercise which would burn a fat. Yeah, there are exercises which, which increase your uh, heart health, like running and cardio, which are increasing, make you lean and uh, uh, protect your muscle during weight loss, like uh, lift, lifting heavy, but nothing burns fat. The closest workout which burns fat, or we could name it like that, it's like going for a walk. That's just pepper. Now half of the people will love me, half of the people will hate me, but actually you can eat carbs and lose the weight. Uh, I personally don't understand uh, keto and low carb diet. I got the point. Of course I know what the principle, but like uh, you know why they were developed? Because our nutrition is built on carbs, fat and protein. And the main point of every diet is to increase protein. So if you will cut from diet uh, carbs and you can consume only fat and protein, then most likely you will increase protein. So that's just the tool how to force you to increase protein. But if you will increase protein on your will during your weight loss, you don't need to cut carbs. I, they are healthy. Nobody get, nobody got fat because they ate banana or or strawberries. Uh, having rice or potato is nothing bad and nothing wrong and your muscles need carbs. Oh my God, guys, I consume a lot of carbs during on my weight loss journey and I never look better. Yeah. Calorie deficit is always working. Even if you have feeling that your weight loss stop, then calorie deficit is the only key how to lose the weight. And if you are not losing the weight on calorie deficit, it means that you are not on calorie deficit. Even you eat the same, probably your metabolism uh, adapted on the calorie deficit which you gave him in a long period of time. And for uh, now, it's your maintaining metabolism. So you have two options. Cut more if you have where to cut or go to reverse dieting to heal your metabolism, to eat a little bit more, keep your maintenance and increasing calories more and more to heal the maintenance metabolism. And then when the metabolism will be healed after five, six, seven weeks, then you can start your diet again. But if you are not losing the weight on, uh, <laughs> on uh, Calorie deficit, it simply means you are not in calorie deficit. This thing is always working, no matter if you are under some pills, if you are sleep deprivated, if you don't rest enough. These all are factors which are playing against you, but if you keep calorie deficit, you will always lose the weight. It doesn't need to be perfect. You need to be consistent and patient. Yeah, nobody is perfect. Only God. No humans are perfect. And even the 
Mr. Olympia, so people or uh, people who are perfectly slim and in shape uh, have uh, cheat meals, cheat days, cheat weekends sometimes, probably not so often, but nobody is perfect yet. So uh, you don't need to have everything from the start in perfection. Do small steps, small changes, which you can later <laughs> do make into perfection, but this is the best way how, how to do habits for your lifetime, how to create new habits and how to not be under some big stress uh, during your uh, weight loss. And with this, there is one more uh, thing which I would love to mention. Uh, if you, uh, I don't like to say it like that, but if you break your diet, by some cheat meal or cheat day and you feel like, oh, today I failed, then please don't punish yourself next day with cutting even more because this is double punishment. Then you will not have enough nutrition for your body, which will go into even more starvation mode. And most likely you will cheat another day and also take it like part of your journey so you enjoyed one evening it was great and next morning start next day but don't punish yourself for one step on the side and now all the people will hate me that i am not super trooper organic bio i will use the cube uh, not all but half of them like i usually have chicken bone broth or something in the freezer but now i don't have so i will use this cube to make the sauce better. Last point, uh, it's always good to do workouts. Uh, you can lose the weight without workouts, but nutrition is on the first place. And the best is do straight training, I mean lifting heavy, uh, going for walks and stuff like that to move as much as you can. But if you should prioritize only one thing and you would have only two hours per week for exercise, prioritize always lifting heavy because lifting heavy is key for everything. It will protect your muscle, increase metabolism, uh, making weight loss easier. And if you want to be lean, Lifting heavy is the key. If you want to lose the weight, lifting heavy is the key. And if you are, if you want to gain muscles, lifting heavy is a key. The moral of the story is that the lifting heavy is the key. It has incredible benefit. I will speak about them in another video, but this is simple, unpopular truth. And now guys, because it's beef, or buffalo, I don't know. Uh, it will need to be cooked like two hours. So all the truth uh, was said. I told you everything what I wanted. I will be happy if you will uh, support me with uh, subscribing my channel or with a like. And uh, I will just come later to show you uh, the final result of that food now. It needs to rest. I am back just to show you. In meanwhile, I cook rice. It will be served with rice. Now it's cooked like two hours, so I will switch it off. And it's like flavor or sauce with these pieces of beef meat. And now I will just grind. I know it looks like weird but yeah, the egg inside. Uh, uh, there is a receipt which is saying that we should roll the meat and inside we should put uh, cooked egg and a little bit of bacon as we are keeping fat down, so no bacon. <laughs> but even like this and without rolling meat and make it, preparing it complicated with the rope then put the rope away during after cooking i just do this easy version i will mix it so it will not be so watery the flavor 
And here you serve it with rice and you eat as much meat as you can. <laughs> That's it and see you soon.